What's good guys? Today I'm going to show you the Hyperdrive USB-C hub for the newest iPads. Um, as you know, they only come with USB-C. So instead of buying a bunch of little adapters, you can grab this one that comes with six in one and we're going to see how it works. We're going to test the audio jack with multiple things, the USB ports. I'm going to use everything I could think of to test out the USB ports, the HDMI port, and also the SD cards. So this is what comes in the box. Extra pieces, adapters, even the, the tool driver. Here's your USB-C charging port, your SD cards, uh, regular size and mini, your USB and your headphone jack. And on the top is the HDMI. And they send little screws as well. So we're going to plug it into our new iPad and we're going to start out with the 3.5 headphone jack wires auxiliary cord. I'm going to plug this into a JBL speaker. Let's start off in YouTube. I'm only going to play a second because I don't want anyone to hit me with the copyright. Hey, it was hit boy, aka Tony Fontaine. And you can see the quality is great. Now let's try Apple Music. Again, I'm only gonna play a second of this. Daylight, hit Daylight up. He got some fire albums. As we milk them like Altadena, no ultimatum. Quality is great. Now I'm also gonna play around with this headphone jack um, a lot longer in between apps and things. So I'll let you know how that works. Only because, you know, just because uh, we're playing a few seconds of music, it'll work fine. But the real test is going between apps. So I'm going to pull up Beatmaker 3 first. And I'm just going to go through sounds quickly. And we can hear those fine, no problem. Now I'm going to open up iMachine. And we hear those with no problem. Okay, so with the headphone jack, the only thing I notice when I'm going back and forth between apps, sometimes I do lose sound. Like uh, Beatmaker 3, for instance. Sometimes the sound just goes dead, and what I've done is unplugged and plugged back in, and I get it back again. So I don't know if that's the hub itself, but it has to be because I don't really have that problem with anything else. Now let's try the SD cards. First, we'll try the big one, the regular size. And you see right away my photos and files popped up in my photo section. You see at the bottom it's an import. So we're going to import one out and see how that works. And here they are. Now that's a video. So we know the videos work without a problem and the photos. I'm going to try a mini SD card from my GoPro. Same thing, it just pops right up. And I'll import that out without a problem. So that works fine. I'm not able to do music files yet, but hopefully with the new iOS 13, OS 13, we're supposed to be able to do that anyway. So, and this hub is OS compatible already. We're going to go ahead and try the HDMI. Now you could put this hub in anyway, upside down, either way, whatever's easier, it'll work. Take a look at our TV, open an app. And there we have it, beautiful. So the HDMI works fine. Let's test the audio, make sure we get audio. And the audio does work. I'll turn it up. play a video and that works fine 
Now I'm going to try my Zoom H4n into this. Now these new iPads do power up things like the Zoom and the MPC Studio. With the old iPad, you needed a power hub, a USB power hub, but the new iPad, you don't need it. So I'm just going to plug this right into the USB and record a test. Test, test, one, two, three, test, test, mic check, one, two, three, check, check. And that's still plugged into the HDMI. So we'll play it back and we should be able to hear test, it on the test, TV. One, two, three, test, test, mic check, one, two, three. Check, and you check. see that works fine. Now I'm going to try the MPC Studio. And I'm going to open up the IMPC Pro 2 app and hit a couple of pads. And this is still plugged into the HDMI so we're getting audio from the TV and everything works fine. That's pretty dope. Now I'm going to plug in the Blue Yeti microphone and do a test on that. Check, check. Check one, two, check, mic check, one, two. Check one, two, check, mic check, one, two. Yep, everything works fine, that's awesome. So I'm gonna take my card reader and plug my SD cards into this and then this into that. I mean, you don't need it, obviously, it has the SD cards already, but just out of curiosity, I would like to know if it works. So I'm gonna plug that in to see if the files come up and if we could transfer them. So we see we got our files here, no problem. And that works fine. So now I know external hard drives are not supposed to work, but out of curiosity, I'm gonna plug in my external hard drive and try it out. I know when the OS 13 drops, they're gonna work, so it probably won't work. That's not the hub's fault. That's just the iOS thing. And like I thought, it does not work. Content's not available. Now I'm going to try to plug this HDMI into my laptop and see if I can pick it up from there. And I'm not getting anything, but I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. I mean, I hit the button on the laptop and it's just not working. But I'm not going to hold that against the hub because I'm probably doing something wrong. So anyway, I'm going to take this to my Novation Audio Hub and I'm going to plug some things into the Audio Hub and see if it still works through this hub. So I have the audio hub going into the USB-C hub and I have my Novation launch control into the audio hub. So I've plugged everything in, pulled up BM3, BeatMaker 3, and I'm gonna see if everything still works fine. And as you can see, it does, no problem. So now I'm going to try a more powerful keyboard, my M-Audio 49. I'm going to actually plug this directly into the hub and see if it'll power it up without the power cord. And that works fine, so that's dope. I have a regular keyboard for a computer I plugged in. I'm going to check this out in the notepad and I'm going to check out a mouse. Again, I know with the OS 13, the mouse capabilities will be there, so it might not work now, but the keyboard should. And it does just fine, so that's dope. You could plug in any keyboard you want. So yeah, we pretty much went through everything we could, tested everything, and everything works great. The only thing that's given me a couple of problems is the headphone jack. And that's when switching back and forth through apps, like I had Beatmaker 3 open and I went to LumaFusion and then I lost sound and I had to unplug it and plug it back in. But other than that, everything else works great. I love all the features. It eliminates a million little adapters. I don't have to buy five or six more adapters. As you know, the new iPads don't come with the auxiliary, the headphone port, and they come with only the USB-C. So everything is different, but this piece for about $89 is definitely worth it. It makes my workflow much smoother. I definitely recommend it. And the company says it's already OS ready. So as soon as the OS 13 drops, I'll put it to use and, and get back to you guys with a newer video, but I don't see any problems with this. I actually love it. The HDMI feature is awesome. I put some movies on here and I could just plug it into my big screen and watch them or work from the big screen. 
So yeah, this gets a thumbs up from me. This is a dope hub. So thanks for watching. Click the subscribe and check out WeSampleEverything.com for beats, sample packs, more tutorials, and our new producer forum. Peace.